All right, let's see. Have a granola bar where we check this thing out. No explanation, exclamation point, exclamation marks, so that's good. Okay, so th for those who didn't see it last time, this ship is... Let's look at the description. Four Mantis brothers, after years of scavenging, gathered enough parts to make their own. With help of their NG friend, they managed to put the ship together... This thing together with an advanced teleporter and an old shipping crate and two basic lasers. So, not much to look out, but she's got it where it counts, kid. Customize the mantis. You want me to check something? Whoa. Um, mantis go burr. Mantis disregard for individual lives. What, what? I'll name one math champ. I don't know. Oh, customize. Here, this. What? Whoa, okay. Is that something you had? That's like, um... Let's have three black mantids. That sounds terrifying. That looks like something from, uh... Uh, Captain Dish. Well, they have purple and blue? Whoa, okay, one blue. Name one pie boy. Okay. All right. The blue one's pie boy. Ship's very phallic. Every every ship is phallic. If you have the your mind at the gutter. <laughs> looks like Sa looks like Samus coloring. All right. So what is different about this? You said Vulcan Mantis. Roll a rebellion, Gibbs. Gibbs, well done. Well done, Gibbs. Well done, Gibbs. So, um, what is different about this? Do we know what's different about this? Board and I'll see. Okay, all right. Can I name one for you, Hamlo? All right, sure, I'll get you in a second. Um, you can be the one normal colored one. How do you get 15 points just for existing? What do you mean? 15 points of what? Explore? Oh, man. No free stuff. No free damage, I guess. You have 15 points for leaving the hangar. What are you talking about? 15 points of what? Oh, you're talking about score points. Oh. Okay. My score was 15. Is that what it was? Okay. I didn't know what you were talking about. Okay. I don't I don't look at like half the stuff on the screen. <laughs> I'll be honest. I play so much FTL that I like stop watching things. <laughs> what? What is happening? <laughs> what the hell? What is happening right now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, so that is what that is what this ship does. That what's interesting is hey, we got level two. Uh, okay, uh, let's just give a blue option. What's interesting is they didn't actually kill the systems that fast. They don't break systems faster. They just look like they're having a conniption, which I don't know what that is, but okay. All right. Uh, wow. Amazing. Just amazing. I don't know what to say about that. Um, I'm just going to buy backup battery here because I can't. They break crew and doors faster, though. Okay. <laughs> no, not the Uber Mantis. Yes, the Uber Mantis. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, crap, I got no shields. Okay, nice. 
Can't do damage to me now. Just remember that it goes both ways. Are you freaking kidding me? So if I board against other Mantis... Oh, God. So I'm not going to Mantis sectors, apparently. I mean, I should still win with four Mantis, right? If you only change Mantis to do this, no other races, then I should still win if I have four of them. Meth Mantis, apparently. Apparently. Or we just need to get Clone Bay for sure. Yeah, I guess we just need to get Clone Bay. That's, that's true. One Mantis boards mean it's over. No, because I can. I have four to his one, so... I don't think it's over. He might just kill my NG before I can do anything about it, though. Maybe I shouldn't have sold the... Uh... Crap, we actually take damage here, don't we? Maybe I shouldn't have sold the... Mantis Pheromones because of that. We could have gotten out of the room faster. Uh, if you fill a room with four Mantis, you'd be fine because the melee attack isn't super fast. Okay. Yeah, I just need to get Clone Bay, basically. It's the Methus. The Methus, huh? F for Kazak. Oh god, intruders on board for free. They're my doors. <laughs> so that it's only the shooting. All right, all right. This is so strange. Oh yeah, that that vent doesn't work. I forgot. Does is that affected by fighting training? <laughs> I can't tell if he was just fighting faster there or not. Does that go faster when you have them fighting trained, or no? Pheromones, not even once. It's like they have assault rifles and bayonets. It's a tweak on the animation speed for their shooting. So, so fighting training would make it stronger, right? Because fighting training makes shooting do more damage, right? Yeah. All right. So he's got a heavy laser, so we can do this. Oh god, hope he doesn't have any mantis of his own. <laughs> oh, that's so ridiculous. That is so insane. I've never seen anything like that in any of the mods, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually a very good sector here. Just the shooting, that means mantis just spit very fast. I, I, I guess so. Oh god. Okay, if he mind controls a mantis... Oh, I need mind control counter. We need the mind control counter. So two things we need. We need clone bay and we need the mind control counter. Maybe this run will be my happy OP run. Yes, it's already I'm already pretty happy. Uh repair bomb. There's more things that's eye on blue options than a repair bomb blue option. Uh yeah, go clone bay ASAP. I'm trying. I'm gonna try. Um. Oh my god. What a crazy build. What's funny is... Like, they'll never even be able to get out of <laughs> They die so fast they can't leave to get to the heal bay. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Pie Boy, I'm pretty sure this is not how your ship was intended, but, uh... I'm having fun with it, so... You want to see this against RFS, Rebel Flagship? Investigate? Come join my crew! Charlie! Charlie, welcome aboard. Engine Train Zoltan Sector 1's kind of insane. It's the most disturb in a disturbing but fun way. This is disturbing to you, huh? Just pretend like you're one of the Mantis and not one of the enemies that are getting wrecked. Such a crew, though, all those skills, you can board a 20 crew ship and win? Yeah. Okay, clone bay? No clone bay. No clone bay. Um, I can get hacking, though. If I want that. Sultan Sector would be a slow death. Um, no Zoltan Shield Bypass. We want to buy Halberd Beam. The law for cloaking. Oh, is mind control there? No, there's no mind control. Mind control and um, clone bay are kind of required for this ship. So I think I need to save up just so I have enough for those things. 
I think I'm gonna not do anything at the moment. I'm just gonna bank some scrap for right now. Alright, they got some mantids. Okay. <laughs> we killed the mantids. <sighs> we killed their mantids before they could attack us. Okay, there you go. Do -do 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 -do. Wow, this is insane. You call them Vulcan mantis, so I guess these are fully spun up mantis or something. Wow, this is this is just crazy. Each Zoldan ship encounter with the M mind control will be a slow death, that is. Well, I'll just, I need to pause. If we can pause, I think we can counter it. We might actually take damage here because I had to leave before the fire because my teleporter and my teleporter wasn't back up. I guess we can go for this. Of course, Dumble Dojos don't get any better. Hey, no damage, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, okay. Burst laser mark one. I'll take it. Don't let enemy ships mind control any romantids. I know. I know. Thank you for telling me. Pretty sure I've said that already, but thanks for that reminder. I know. I have freaking played FTL before. I feel like mantis sectors would actually be safe if you're careful about boarding. If you can prevent them from ever getting a chance to shoot. Well, if you, if you board in a four-man room, I think you're always going to win, basically. Haven't I already played this ship? I did. But I didn't play it with the uh, Math Champs Vulcan Mantis mod, so. so. If I do that, I still have enough for um, the other stuff that I want, which is my control or Bombay. Bay. <laughs> what is the Vulcan Mantis mod? Just watch. Watch one boarding. Not a Satanist. You'll see. You'll see very soon. Stasis pod, give me the weapon. Two burst laser mark ones. Interesting. Two of the most mediocre of all mediocre burst lasers. What a terrible sector, but at least I can... Nope. There is no efficient way for me to check this this, this side of the sector. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Well, I can still hit... One, two, three. I can still hit all these jumps, though. We're looking on your phone for the start. Now you're back home again. All right. All right, we'll see what, what we've done to your monstrosity of a ship with this monstrosity of a mod. Wouldn't him just run the mod with Mantis B, but then the board is boarding Mantis Brothers ship turned to Gibbs last week, so it was perfect. It was just perfect. All right, you want to know what the ship does? Watch. 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 That's what this does. Wow. Get exploded, Zoltan and NG. We insta-gib. We insta-gib. The Mantis, uh, the ship is as intended. The Mantis brothers are meant to be the best. <laughs> okay, good. They have trained in the art of... Whatever the art of that is. Whatever whatever martial art that is, that's what they have trained in. The art of Gatling Kung Fu. Gatling Kung Fu. This is Gatling Kung Fu. I have so much stuff to sell. Can I have a store, NGs? Final boss will be interesting. We're going to destroy all the crew. Uh, I don't, I can't, I can't do this. I can't, I can't lose an, uh, losing a mantis would be really, really bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Play a bit slower, their handguns will get hot and melt. How do I play? I can't slow them down. You don't slow down Gung Fu, okay? There is no slowing down of Gung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't slow him down if I wanted to. I'm not sure. I guess we took damage from. Uh, I guess there was a Zoltan that exploded. Gat Fu. The art of rapid fire projectile vomiting. <laughs> That's what it is. Wow, this is ridiculous. Okay. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. You know what? After last run, this does feel a balance from all the crap we had to. Get through last time. Back up DNA bank and no freaking systems, man. Okay. Um, let's get double burst laser ones, I guess. It's kind of crap, unless I'm gonna go ion. I'm not burst laser two, burst laser one. Did I say burst laser ones? I, don't, I forget what I said. I mean, if I do get 
clone bay, I probably will want the backup DNA bank. So we have this if we fight auto scouts. And we still have 120 scrap. I did say burst laser one, okay. Like in the act like in the exorcism, this is just actually scary. Is the backup DNA bank worth without getting the clone bay? Yes, because I basically have to get clone bay because if I lose any of my mantids, I'm screwed. I think I am going to buy this before actually having clone bay. I think it's worth. Um, oh, it doesn't work without clone bay. No, it doesn't work without clone bay. But I'm buying it because of how important clone bay, clone bay is for this run and how high I'm going to prioritize getting it. So. <laughs> they had it here too. But still no systems. Thanks, FTL. Two, here's two stores with backup DNA bank. Uh, we're not going to let you buy Clone Bay, though. What, what do you think this is? A fair and balanced game? Okay. This is FTL, what you think. We are not going to Zoltan Zegger, that's for sure. Oh, Mantis B would be a bit less OP since you only have the two Mantis to start. <laughs> a bit. Just a bit less OP, though. Not much. Just a bit. Um, one, two, three, four. Draw something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. But yeah, you're right. With only the two mantas to start would be a little, a little less broken. But I'm guessing only by a little. <laughs> oh, that's, that's really fun. That's really fun. I gotta say, I'm having fun. I am having fun. Y'all may have had fun with my salt last run. I'm having fun with this OP ridiculous build this run. I'm having fun. Uh, who did it? Magic Arp with the seven months, my friend. Thank you so much for your continued randomness, you rock. Okay. Uh, one of the Mantis levels up. We needed that. Yeah, <laughs> we need that level up. Uh, it was Hamlo, a pie boy. Hamlo and pie boy leveled up. No, you rock. No, you rock. The four man med bay is just a treat. It is. It is a treat. Intruder on board. Ah, oh, let's hope when we get a fifth mantid. Okay. Okay, we got mantis, but this is fine. It's fine because they when they're gonna run in the room and die before they can attack. So basically, the way we play this ship is. We never let them attack by always boarding in a four-person room. <laughs> so as long as we outnumber the Mantids, we should win. I mean, we might lose a Mantis at some point, but I'm really hoping we get Clone Bay just to guarantee we don't. Okay. Come on. Okay, it's good weapons. No mind control and no Clone Bay. Um, I can buy one more system. So what other system would I want? It'll help also, you know, reduce the amount of systems I don't want. Probably cloaking. That leaves me only 46 scrap. Cloaking, mind control, and teleporter as my systems. This is definitely something we go all in on boarding. Drone control defense is weaker on this ship. Okay, thank you for that reminder. I think we just go cloaking anyway. And then hope we don't immediately run into store with mind control or hack or uh, clone bay. Yeah, I think cloaking is the way to go. We already got the backup battery. Okay. That is a burst laser three in sector. It was a sector two. Yeah. All right. It's fine. Good thing we just got cloaking. And our double burst laser one's up. It's pretty strong. Not going to cloak that. Uh, let's do this. Do, 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 do. Oh, nice. We blocked the one shot that actually fired. That's funny. He dodged a shot. It, our shot blocked it from even coming at us. Sorry about the lack of cloak image. You had some really nice ones made for you, but everyone, every time we put them on the ship, broke. Eh, it's not terrible. Um, I know that I don't I don't know how to do the cloaking images and things too. The only reason my my ship had one was because 
Biohazard made one for me, so I'm not going to blame you on that. Okay. Oh, we need Zoltan Shield Bypass really bad, though. That is something we do need. Zoltan Shield Bypass and... What's the other thing? Clone Bay and Mind Control. Those are what we're looking for. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's crazy is they do the animation when they attack, but it doesn't do more damage against the room. That's what's crazy to me. <laughs> as soon as they spawn, though, they they just they just they just fall apart to pieces. Oh, he hit my shields! No, don't do damage to me. It's rude. Wait. Did I win the fight? Uh, level three? Oh, are you freaking? Okay, you're dead. Screw this. That's bullshit. What was that level three clone bay for me to not get the crew kill? I thought I got him. Must have been level. It was either level two or level three clone bay right there. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I ain't stupid. Well, I do misplay sometimes, but I ain't, I ain't that stupid. You think the system damage is fixed no matter the race? Well, yeah, but they're even if the system damage amount is fixed with the attack speed, I thought it would affect it, but I guess not. Doesn't matter. We're uh, that guy had at least level two clone bay, maybe it's level three. <laughs> God. The ship seems familiar. We played it last time, but it didn't have what's happening now. Last time, one, two, three, four. I'm not sure if that's a dive or not. System damage is independent of the attack animation. Okay. Okay, um, I'm not sure which one's better. I think maybe they're the same. Oh, oxygen upgrade. Wow. I have level three oxygen in sector three. Okay. While fighting crew and doors, it goes by the actual shots in the animation. Okay. All right, so let's do it this way. <laughs> oh God, that's so goofy. I should have gone through the doors just to see it. Swag oxygen, that's right. We got swag oxygen, my friends. Swag oxygen, best oxygen. Um, I mean, if we dive, we'll kill the ship so fast, it'll probably be fine. I would need to upgrade my engines if we dive, so... I'm gonna take a chance at a dive. Yeah. I think if it's a dive, it doesn't hurt us that much. What actually hurts is if they board first. I don't know if it hurts us, but it, like... Make it so that we might actually have to micro some crew around. Okay, it's a die, but we got a store. And we actually get two extra jumps, so definitely a worthwhile dive, especially because we have cloaking and stuff to sell. I do need some engines, yeah. Good board with two in a two-person room? I don't think I should. Clone bay, beautiful. There we go. Long range scanners, yes. Scrap recovery arm, I'd like to, but I think I just need to get um, this. Um, we can back up battery that, I guess, for the fight, for the for the dive. Yeah, we'll do that. Two more jumps. We should at least get a, a little bit of scrap, hopefully. Unless it's two empty jumps, though. All right. Whew. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. We're going to back up battery teleporter and the engines on this dive. Good, no clone bay. Going to here. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous, and uh, I love it. 
It's been a while since we played something this ridiculous, and I am very much enjoying the ridiculousness of, of the situation. Ninety-two percent dodge. Beautiful. Oh, we might have been able to get out anyway. It's fine. Mantis don't chew their food. I think we could even do abandoned boarding with this, right? Especially with level two with Clone Bay. Yeah, absolutely, we can. Come to me. I'm alone with my invisible brothers. Yeah, we have Clone Bay. Upon entering the room with the Mantis, the last thing anyone hears is "Welcome to the Grinder." <laughs> Uh, I better have level two because I don't want I want it to be, take as little damage as possible jumping into uh you know no two room. Damn, am I not gonna be able to get this store? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we can. All right. Uh, with how little damage the man to take, the clone bay passive heal is enough to offset. You think? Well, it depends on how long it takes for us to get back. Honestly, I think. But I guess after the fight o over, it automatically re re uh, recharges the thing. So yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. That mantis actually got to attack a little bit, but uh, thankfully he meleeed, so it was no problem. There are two stores in abandoned. Okay. Columbia has soft counter to mind control. Yes. One, two, three. We'll probably still do that. For the boss fight, sell the guns. Nah, I don't think I'll do that. Do, 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 do. He's got a bomb. I can't board. Can't do it. Do, 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 do. Nice. No doges. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we got. That's true. We do have backup DNA bank. Still. Still. Mantis boarding squad. Nice. Mantis repair squad. Mantis boarding squad becomes Mantis repair squad. What does backup DNA do? It means if your uh, crew die and your clone bay is broken, they stay stored in the clone bay. So you're they're basically invincible. You can't lose crew with clone bay and backup DNA bank. Your crew is invincible. Actually invincible. So we have invincible four mantis that one shot everybody who walk into the room. Seems balanced, man. One, two, three. Okay, cool. We can get that. We should rename Jack. So while I was waiting if anybody asked for it. If nobody asked for it, I'm not going to rename him. So Jax is a pretty good killer mantis name, I'll be honest. Honest. Pretty good OP name. Have you seen Jax in Mortal Kombat? Frickin' rips people's arms off. Like Boris from Goldeneye. That reference I don't think I know. It's been a long time since I've seen Goldeneye. Okay. Okay, he's got... He had two Mantis. All right. Cloak. Beautiful. He had two Mantis, so it was a little scary, but... Basically... As long as I have, I start any fight by shooting a little bit, we win. We completely win the fight. Also, we have Firebomb for uh, giant alien spiders now, which is nice. Firebomb work for that? Or is that something else? It's anti-bio beam and something. Golden shield down. Boarding season is open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I got scared for a second. Actually, no. We're going to do this. They turn red when they they turn wet red when they fire, and so I thought I got boarded by four mantis who were attacking me just as fast for a second there. Okay, that freaked me out for just a second. I didn't recognize my own mantids. Are they already trained in fighting? Uh, some of them are. Three of them are fully trained. Jax has got level one. That freaked me out for just a second. You made them turn red when they fire, yeah. Will the mantis more closely resemble reptile while on the subject of Mortal Kombat? Um, reptile. Okay, I don't remember the reptile character as much. Just don't remember it as much.
How have we not fired yet? Did we fire and he just dodged? He must have dodged. Okay, 50% dodge so far for this guy. Congratulations on cheating. Alright, if this next if this next volley misses, I'm just gonna have to board him, I guess. I don't want to. But we have the backup DNA. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry, Mantids. I didn't want you to die. I just didn't have a choice. <laughs> slap, 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 slap. It had little effect. <laughs> it was not very effective. Man, apparently our Mantis Pokemon are weak against Auto Scout Pokemon. Dear God. Uh... Ninja like scorpion only dressed in green and spits acid. Ah, okay, okay. I vaguely remember that. You remember Jax? I thought you'd remember Reptile. He's basically green scorpion. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I I played um I didn't play much Mortal Kombat, but what I did play of Mortal Kombat was like the first one or two. And I think Reptile was added in like later Mortal Kombats. So I remember Scorpion and Jax and Johnny Cage and Sonya. Hey, if it wasn't in the Mortal Kombat movie, you know, not a real character, right? Who remembers the Mortal Kombat movie, by the way? Bug types are not effective against steel types. Checks out. <laughs> That's right. Okay, there's a Lanius we could get. I guess I'm going to sell. Am I going to sell the firebomb? I mean, it's fun, but we're doing Mantis boarding fun stuff. Pair, one, two, three, four. Let's get Elanius for blue options, I guess. It's a good movie for sure, Kappa. Mortal Kombat. I watched some, I actually watched some video about the Mortal Kombat movie. It was something like, like a documentary about the making of it or something and how it was like really popular for its time. So then they made a Street Fighter movie that was terrible and then the Mortal Kombat 2, which was terrible. Like the Mortal Kombat movie was kind of the best of the bad video game movies of that era because there was a there was also a Super Mario Brothers movie with who was the guy who played Luigi? Uh, oh, what's his name? I forget that Hispanic actor's name. That was just absolute crap. All right, I'm gonna buy the flag. But there were a lot of actual video game movies, and the Mortal Kombat movie was actually the best of them, I think. Or maybe the Street Fighter one was. I forget. Okay, we did the Zoltan last time. Let's do Advanced Sensors. I think life is valuable. Take a bribe. Reptile was... Reptile was in the Mortal Kombat movie? Well, damn. Then I just completely failed. Hispanic Bob Hoskins? No. I'm talking about the guy who played Luigi. Bob Hoskins? Was that... Oh, God. I can't remember. Remember some of the crazy stuff that had to happen? Had to be on the... Pit had to win flawless, had to win by fatality, street... Oh, you're talking about to unlock reptile or something? That I don't remember. Oh, why am I using burst laser instead of flak? It's just straight up better. Mortal Kombat and Spawn were your first two DVDs you ever bought. Nice. Mortal Kombat and Spawn. I remember Spawn. I remember my um, best friend in high school had Spawn comics, and every time I saw them, I like, these comics are brutal. Why is there so much blood? Oh my god! Freaking spawn is brutal. Okay. Whew! <laughs> Receive my gung fu. My gun fu. Wasn't gun fu a thing? And uh, wasn't there a movie with Christian Bale where they did? Gun Katas? What was that one? What was that movie called? That was, I think I think Shogi has talked about that movie before. You remember some of the crazy stuff that had... Uh, okay. Uh, Test your might, Mortal Wombat. <laughs> Mortal, uh, Mortal Kombat movie had the best soundtrack. John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo. That's the guy I was trying to think of. That played Luigi. It's a Pulsar, huh? One, two, four. That's the guy I was thinking of. I don't know... Uh, Bob Hoskins, but I heard John Leguizamo was the guy I was trying to think of. Holy crap, look at that guy's weapons. Well, let's 
eat him for Manta's breakfast. Oh, don't hack my... Okay, if he hacked my teleporter, that would actually be bad. See here, because because it's a Pulsar, I actually don't get my guys back in time, so we actually lose them. So, whoever said that the clone bay will basically heal it up, no it won't. I couldn't get him back in time. Equilibrium with Christian Bale, that was the movie, yep. I remember watching that movie and thinking, what a weird movie. Oh crap, that reset it. Right, we're gonna wait, we're just gonna wait. Uh, and I'm gonna move you into the clone bay so it never goes offline. You don't care John Wick had the get best gunplay? Well, John Wick is a different kind of gunplay. Because in Equilibrium, they, like, did these gun katas where they would, like, melee. They would, like, you know, do melee martial arts while shooting. It was really weird. Bob Hoskins was also in Who Framed Roger Rabbit as the detective. Oh, that was, I, that was the same guy? Okay. Okay, I didn't realize that was the same guy who played Mario. Equilibrium, one of the best films ever. I've only seen it once, so I don't know that I could comment on it being one of the best films ever. <laughs> it was an interesting... Uh, an interesting concept, that's for sure. Bob Hoskins almost died on the set of the Mario Brothers movies. Really? How? From, from what? You know what's even crazier? Bob Hoskins is English. Oh. Yeah, he's like... Doesn't he have like a... Are you going to board me? I'll show you how to board. Doesn't he have like a Cockney accent? I think I've heard his real voice. And I think he's like got a... More of a Cockney British accent. Or maybe that's just a character. He played Smee in... Steven Spielberg's Robin... Uh, Hook, right? Didn't he play Smee? Maybe that's the Cockney accent I'm thinking of. Maybe that's not his real accent. I've heard his real accent. I'm talking about his character from Hook. Okay. It's your second favorite film after Police Academy and Porky's. Wow. Really? Okay. Unarmated Reloader. I mean, I get the emergency respirators. Do we get emergency respirators just for abandoned sector porting? <laughs> that seems a little... <coughs> wasteful. <coughs> Whoops. <coughs> <coughs> Don't you hate it? When you swallow your own spit the wrong direction? God. Uh, Bob Hoskins was a Cockney IRL. Okay. I need my own respirators, apparently. Um... Uh, what do I want here? Do I want automated reloader? I mean, all those are okay. I don't love them. You know what I really need is just uh, Zoltan Shield Bypass or... Um, I don't really need the... Uh, uh, teleporter recovery thing, but... <laughs> Even anti-personnel drones don't get a single hit off. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh, man. Do we do the Mantis Control? Freaking go, man. <clears throat> Zold and Shield Bypass definitely worth the wait. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, person has COVID is a no-go to me. Please don't. Oh. Yeah, that's... I know some people make jokes about that. Like, at my church job when somebody, like, coughs in between things. It's like, don't worry, I'm not going to get my COVID all over you. And I'm just like, eh. This is a, this is a disease that's killed hundreds of thousands of people. I'm not sure I... And get on board with jokes like that, so. I think we're still going to be fine here with killing all these guys. You're off to work, alright, Hamlo. Enjoy, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. Three shields, cloaking, and a bunch of weapons. Let's take the free stuff. I should upgrade to get this other burst that you're online. I have plenty of scrap, no reason not to. Uh, you like the stand-up more for performance than any single joke. Stand-up of Coochie Fly joke. I wonder, are you talking about, are you talking about Bob Hoskins again? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's the first mind control on one of our mantids. Thank God they don't kill systems quicker, I guess.
Okay, all right, stop it. Pie boy, what are you doing? This is my ship. This is not what it was meant to be. I must kill all of my enemies. <laughs> Pie boy, no. Don't kill all your friends. Oh, you're talking about John Leguizamo. Okay. For all the people infected with COVID, you're lucky you can say you don't know anyone who got infected personally. Uh, I do know one family that got infected. I haven't seen them in a long time, but uh, the girl, one of the girls who sings in my Christmas caroling, caroling group. Uh, one, two, three, four. Her family did get infected, but they all recovered pretty well. And also my best friend from high school got infected, but he also recovered pretty well. So all the people who I know have had it have been young, healthy people. So that's, that's something to be grateful for. Holy flack. Okay. Great. I'm going to use all of my my RNG on this really OP, ridiculous run. Okay. You're upset. He needs some human spaghetti. <laughs> Vent pie boy to show the other Manti not to get mind controlled. Well, half your friends in New York City got infected. No one died that you know. That's good. That's very good. To... Okay. So what is scary is if we have any boarding event. So this distress could be boarding mantis, which could be really scary. Okay, thank God it's not that. Um, I guess we just take that free scrap. I don't think we're going on that quest. Your girlfriend moved out and got it two weeks later. She was gonna going stir crazy and wanted to live life. Wound up with a kidney infection, but you think it's better now? Yikes! Yikes! Kidney infection. That doesn't sound good. A kidney infection from COVID? <laughs> just that animation is so ridiculous. How the hell do you make that animation like that? You just like change a number that speeds up the animation? That's insane. Really funny that Mr. Pieboy himself was the mind controlled Uber Manus. Yes. That is really funny. <laughs> Where'd everybody go? You ate them, sir. You ate them all. It's attacking everything, the COVID. So it, it, it infected her kidneys. Yikes. Yikes, man. I feel all the people who are not taking COVID seriously just are really kind of deluding themselves. Even though a lot of people have recovered, it doesn't mean it's not a dangerous thing. It's crazy. Come on. Where's, where's my mind control, man? I've gone like to four stores and I haven't seen mind control yet. That's the third burst laser one. We could have had a full burst laser one run. Oh, what, what am I doing? Oh, this is crap. Stores are crap, man. Okay. Well, I think I think COVID is mainly a, a lung thing. I haven't heard about it attacking kidneys and stuff, but whatever it's attacking, it's bad, and I'm scared. Not really scared, but... Um, NG, do I have a human to get rid of? I do. Alright, human, get out. Get out. A lot of my... Oh, you have actually weapons training. This is perfect. A lot of my singing friends have been keeping an eye on. There's, uh, like, a lot of, uh, colleges and universities have been trying to do studies for effectiveness of masks for... Oh, Mantis Homeworld's nice! Effectiveness of masks for stopping particulates coming out while singing. Because most choirs, like, just stopped meeting because of all the COVID stuff. But it looks like masks actually have a pretty significant reduction on singing, spewing out. So that's a good sign for the future of people singing for a living and choir directors and stuff like that. <laughs> Um, Duke just got a, did a great study on the coverings, everything, but basically the neck gaiters ski mask do a good job. A deck, neck gaiters. Oh, what's that? So basically everything that doesn't have big holes in it is pretty good. I have a lot of scrap, holy crap. A lot of scrap, holy crap. Let's go to the stores. Who would have thought that the masks are actually effective? Where's my mind control? Where is it? There's like five, five freaking stores. All right, we have another store. All I want for Christmas is freaking mind control game. 
It's the face mask that sit around your neck that you can pull up to just cover your nose, mouth, neck. That is that what a ski mask one is or a neck gaiter? Okay. Um, I guess I'm not familiar with those, but why wouldn't they be effective? Is it because they have larger holes for air to escape? I would assume that's the reason. The med bay, buy med bay to take it out of the system pool. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need to do. That's a gator. It's very thin material. Ah, oh, that's what it is. Okay. I keep forgetting to upgrade clone bay for Kazak. Oh my God, you're right. I actually have. There it is. My control zone shit. This is the store I've been waiting for for a year. Thank you. Thank you, FTL. Let's get this. And thank you for reminding me I need to upgrade that. Okay. All right. And I think, uh, I think it can be at, I think it can be at, because at uh, ship fights like this. I, excuse me, I believe. I'm so strong, I haven't been upgrading stuff, so I should really upgrade my damn ship. Okay. Uh, the poly fabric actually causes them to break up the droplets even smaller, allows therm them to linger transfer in the air better. Oh, so it's the fabric type that's the issue on those. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, there was something in the study that I saw, too, that was about, like, um... Apparently, uh, certain air purifiers actually help a decent amount. I didn't see what it was. Wow, they instantly get through the doors. There's some certain air purifiers that I think are actually some sort of help as well. Okay, this sound is... I actually want to get some Dumbledore, just so I'm going to let them just attack. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It is a Gatling gun. It's basically a Gatling gun. Oh uh, yeah, you can post links topless in, because you're a, you're a, a mod, or a, a sub. Subs can post links. Is that the study? I might... Duke University Space Mask Test. I'd be interested to look at that. Be interested. Cool. Thank you for that link. They clone and then die instantly. I know, it's awesome. This is really fun. I'm really enjoying this, like, a lot. Oh, I was like, what is that music I'm hearing? That's the music from that study there. Okay. Uh, Mantis. I got clone bait. Pride open. Kirkner, no! <laughs> the NG was tanking. He's like, don't. Move. This is like a friggin' horror movie. If if a, a mantis is in the same room as you, you need to make sure you don't move. You need to stand right next to him. It's like, um... It's like, what is it? Uh, signs. You just need to throw water on the aliens. Which is kind of the stupidest thing if you think about it. That if you know, um... M. Night Shyamalan's movie, Signs, that an alien... An advanced alien race would... Invade a planet that is like 70% water, and the one thing that hurts them is water. Makes actually no sense. I didn't think about it when I saw the movie, but when I saw somebody say that in some description or review one time, I was like, wait a second, that is stupid. Why did I think that was a good movie? <laughs> that makes no sense. Same thing with Alien Nation. I don't think I know Alien Nation. I'm going to bring him back. It was a dumb twist, yeah. I mean, I feel like it was done well because it was very, like, emotionally whatever when River uh, Joaquin Phoenix hits it with a baseball bat and saves the guy or whatever. But when you think about it, it's stupid. Which is probably a good description of all M. Night Shyamalan's twists. If you think about it, it doesn't make sense. But I don't know. Maybe they weren't aliens. Maybe they were demons. Um, okay. Whew. Demons, huh? That was the twist? Maybe that's the twist. They were demons instead of aliens. Swing away. Yeah, the whole swing away thing. One, two, three. I guess we just go one, two, three, since these don't connect. Well, one, two, three, four. If that's a, if that's a ship fight, it could be, uh, it could be, uh, 
Kazakh, and that's what we're looking for right now. You are not Kazak. Where is Kazak? I want Kazak. Wow, look at these mantis colors. That's cool. As soon as they enter the room. Oh, that's so insane. Now that they're all fully trained, they're doing their... What is it? They do 100% crew damage because they're mantis, and then 20% more, and then now it's like super speed. They just like destroy anybody. They're demons and it's and the water is holy water. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. It somehow is blessed because he's a pastor or something. I don't know. It's it's a pretty dumb twist when you think about it, really. <laughs> I think that's the first role you saw Joaquin Phoenix in that you got the Commodus that got the Commodus hate out of your mind. Oh. You hated Joaquin Phoenix because he played Commodus such an evil character? I mean That's funny. Without ruining Cloverfield land, you feel like the writers went, what's the worst that could happen next after every scene? Poor lady just couldn't catch a break. Uh, I've never seen that, but. You were young and didn't know better, yeah. Yeah, I was in college when I saw that movie, and that was one of the first soundtracks I, I bought and listened to over and over. Just absolutely loved that soundtrack. Soundtrack is amazing. I think it's Hans Zimmer. On that one. Um, we could sell Automated Reloader and get something, but... I mean, not sell Automated Reloader. Sell Long Range Scanners or Backup DNA Bank for one of these guys, but... I don't think we need anything. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go kill the boss. It's a dumb twist, and, that's, and that the aliens have master interstellar travel but can't get through a basement door. <laughs> yeah. Many stupid twists like that in the movie, I feel like, that I didn't notice. Yeah, that is pretty dumb. Can't get through a basement door. I better do this. Oh god, they actually did damage to me? Guess I should have cloaked. Yeah, let's cloak it. This is a level 3 clone bay, man. It's the only counter to us right now. It feels like level 3 freaking clone bay. Uh, Cloverfield Lane is great. John Goodman's best. Okay. I don't know if that's a cap or if that's true, because I don't know if John Goodman's in that movie. Investigate. It's fine. All right, Charlie. Whew, another Charlie. Who would I replace? I guess our second NG. Got repair training. Well, I do want the Rockman, so sorry. Sorry, bro. Um, I guess having him on piloting. No, I lose dodge training, which is pretty useful. Yeah. Alright, can y'all take it to tells if you're going to talk about sources of studies and not believing certain scientific stuff? Can you take that to tells? I don't want that in my chat, please. Can we take that to tells? I just, I don't want to, I don't want to have discussions like that in chat, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, please. Alright, no four-man room, which, which kind of sucks. Um, let's do this. No four-man room, not my favorite. Do we still kill everybody? All right, we still kill everybody. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. Should have known better than talk about COVID. I don't know why even talking about COVID brings out political and scientific debate. Just don't understand. Okay. All right, let's talk about Mantis murdering everybody. How about that? Okay. Table flipping commences. I know, right? Ooh, that's nice, uh, 100, 100 scrap reward. That's pretty badass. Okay, that is a big giant missile. Um, Let's go ahead and board here, I guess. Go ahead and do this. Cats are cool because there's even an emote for it. Cats are pretty cool. Cats better than dogs fight me. Oh, oh, oh. 
102% dodge, thank you. It's just another hot topic. Doesn't matter what the actual substance of it is. I guess so. Doesn't matter what the substance is. It's gonna be it's gonna be a hot topic. Anything that has I don't know, it's so weird though, because it's it's actual a disease that affects the world. That has killed hundreds of thousands, and it still has political and scientific freaking stuff. It's weird to me. Cats are better than dogs if you want someone to ignore you. <laughs> That's what I want in my pet. Somebody who's going to ignore me and I'm not going to have to spend all my time, you know, uh, entertaining all the time. But I'm also lazy and don't like to take care of li other living beings. So, you know. Cats don't believe scientific studies. <laughs> Damn it, cats! Believe in the science, cats. Believe in the science. Cloak it. Actually, uh, no, I should leave them in there. Damn, all I wanted was a missile to go offline. Couldn't make that happen. Yeah, good. Auto fire, auto fire, auto fire. Beautiful. Very nice. Oh man, that's a lot of double rewards. I like it. I like it. Even level 3 clone bait. Feels a little slow, actually. Why are you so slow, level 3 clone bait? Why are you so slow? Of course, this is the ship that gets double roars. I know, the ship that's just stupidly overpowered. <laughs> that's, that's how it is. If I'm stupidly overpowered from the beginning, I get everything. If I am not, I just get wrecked the entire time. Um, yeah, we can dive. It's fine. I missed that on the exit beacon. But that's fine. That's fine. Sure, have some fuel. <laughs> and it's a map. Great, a map that shows that there's nothing here. Thanks. Thanks, map. Appreciate that. Value point. Max that out. There, there, there. Doors. Here's a map for your fuel when there are no extra jumps you can get from a map. Okay, he's running. I think we actually need to board in the engines to make sure he doesn't get out. Do, do, do. At least level two thing there. Level two uh, piloting. Nice. Nice. Not nice. We didn't get this offline, but maybe this volley will let us do it. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, very nice. Uh, I guess we can get all three of these jumps too, so that's good. Um, I don't want extra crew, so we're doing, gonna do the long range teleporter. Awesome. Very, very nice. Yes, it's a very, very nice. Okay, what are you gonna offer me? Four, four fuel 41 scrap? Not good enough. My mantids are gonna eat you now. <laughs> it's so funny. We actually got less scrap for that. What? That's so funny that they walk in, and as soon as they walk in, they try to turn around and leave, and they just die. Even the Rockman walked in and noped. <laughs> walked in and then immediately tried to nope on out of there. All right. Big bag of nothing right there. 
big fat ball of nothing. Oh, he actually boarded me. Pom, 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 pom. Pom, 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 pom. Yeah, we can't cloak this. Okay, we take one damage. Go. Dumble doge that, dumble doge that. Oh. And vent my own crew. Did not mean to do that. Sorry, Mantids. Didn't mean to vent you all. That's an interesting looking ship, Laura. Yeah, this is uh it's like a cobbled together mantis boarding ship that we've added Math Champ's crazy Vulcan Mantis mod that makes our mantis just become machine guns. So What's with the hyperspeed mantis? That is that's what's up with this ship. That is what is up. You want a mod except the NGs are like this? <laughs> what if, can you make the NG repair speed be like this? <laughs> they just instant repair everything. Think of the mess in those rooms as the Manti frantically rip enemies apart. <laughs> Doesn't work with NGs, only Mantis, Rock, and Crystal? Really? They're the only ones that throw things at people. Is that why? Because everyone else has lasers, and so you can't up the laser speed, I guess? Because they have unique range attacks. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Go ahead and cloak this. So don't get greedy. Good take damage. Man, just chainsaws. That's what you imagine. <laughs> I described it as a new form of martial art called, um, what I call it, gung, gung fu, because they're like Gatling guns. Gat fu or gung fu. Oh, we got a Sector 8 store. Um, if I go there, I kind of go out of the way. I mean, we can get a good weapon. How come crew though doesn't in the fight? Yeah, it does. It's just it that clone base. You had to wait for the, you had to wait for the clone bay to be offline, and then it has to be offline for a little bit of time before it says they have no more crew. Okay, well, nothing I really want here. Um, long range scanner is not really useful anymore. Everything else is good. Man, we did get two free flax. But apart from that, we didn't really get any good stores for weapon uh, choices. Uh, is there anything else I want here? Battery charger? Not really. Not that you can actually see the blown, the clone bay through the constant stream of Mantis puke. <laughs> the blown bay. The blown bay. Oh man, I gotta go to the blown bay. I hate going to the blown bay. It smells funny in the blown bay. Okay, let's do this, I guess. I'm gonna lose training on them, I guess, though. Kinda sucks. If I'd done level 3, I probably could've gotten back, but it's fine. That was a lot of doges. Which is why we had to go in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cloak the bomb. can't believe we actually can't do any more damage with our Mantis. I mean, I guess it's just normal system damage. with Even with the crazy fast animation, but still seems weird. There we go. How many space age substances did you abuse, Mantids? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All of them. All of them. Oh, this is a, uh, this guy's got five. Uh, he's got four shield plus the extra value point. So nine power weapon, uh, shield system, by the way. So we've seen nine power shield systems twice. 
We've seen a 10 power weapon system today. Uh, Union, thank you for the follow. You know what? I think I forgot to for thank Plasma Critter for the follow two hours ago. So thanks way back when, Plasma Critter. What Looney Tunes character sounds like Rand saying Blown Bay, Tasmanian Devil Guy? I don't know. Oh, no, it's like the Droopy, the dog, or whatever. I'm Droopy. I think that's... I think that might be what we're talking about, but that wouldn't be Looney Tunes, right? I think that was actually something different than that. Um, I guess we get all the power. So we can move around. We can kill all the things quicker. Swag sensor, sure. This is a swag sensor's kind of run. Max level cloaking, why not? Max level 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 mind control. I'm gonna go here. Swag sensor's in honor of Pie Boy. That's right, in honor of Pie Boy. You know it's a flex run when you get max sensors. You know it. All right. So what I do want to do is I want to. Completely kill all his crew. So, let's do the side rooms first. Hacking shield is good, because as long as he didn't hack teleporter, we're good. Ha <laughs> Go. It would actually probably be too overpowered. Not that this is too over. Not that this isn't too overpowered. To have the mantis one shot or do this much, do the system damage as fast as it looks like they're doing. Ooh, I actually timed that really well. I wonder if they get out. Damage them in the heal bay. I bet you they can't because they would be meleeing them. A little slow on this, actually. Aw, triple hit. 45% triple hit, triple fire. That's pretty bullshit RNG. Mind control them. We go. I want them to kill that guy before we board in there. Okay, we can cloak this. Okay, now we kill all their crew. <laughs> and do we leave the one alive? Leave no human alive. Alright. What's up, Fax told you? Too bad there isn't a Mantis to mind control. Imagine Vulcus, Ma Vulcan Mantis with, uh, like, level 3 mind control. That would be insane. Try the heal bay. I'm sure it'll work. What did you come back to? <laughs> the craziest Mantid trained fighters of all time. Droopy is a dog character with a deadpan voice. He was created by Tex Avery and Michael Law for MGM. William Hanna, yeah, Hanna and Barbera produced seven theatrical cartoons with the character, starting with Grin and Sherrod. Hanna Barbera, that's what he's really from. That's right. Uh, there's a number of Hanna Barbera characters that I think some people mix up with Looney Tunes characters. Like, there's that one. Yeah, <laughs> that guy who like there's a tiger who talks like that. That's uh, I forget what he's called. Um. Have some pretty memorable voices in a lot of those Hanna Barbera cartoons. Why has it gotta be all auto scouts, man? A freaking boarding ship and getting all goddamn auto scouts. Come on. It's been a while since I thought about those Hanna Barbera Hanna Barbera car cartoons. <laughs> Hanna Montana car cartoons. Hanna Barbera cartoons. Yeah, at least we got that down, keeping his piloting. Nice. Do, do. Do, do. Gonna wait for the cloaking. Pretty sure a word has already spread that there's a mod that changes the hard coding of FTL, allowing said mod to customize much more. Yeah, FTL multiverse. Yeah, Math Champs is designing a ship in that mod right now. I think for that he wants us to play because he wants me to play that mod, and I've talked about playing the mod. I just have never 
done it because people keep sending me ships to play. So. But yeah, I plan on playing that mod uh, sometime soon. How am I not hitting? Just the flak, uh, flak bad RNG, I guess. Oh, don't sit in there. Yeah, hyperspace changes the hard coding. Multiverse uses utilize it. There you go. Yours uses hyperspace, but not multiverse. Okay. Am I talking about Snagglepuss? Yes, Snagglepuss was the the character I was trying to think of. I remember there was a, um, a Hanna Barbera cartoon where they're like all in a, like doing a racing. They're all like doing. They all have different types of cars or something. A bunch of racing stuff, all sorts of crazy stuff like that. This is. Those are something from my childhood I vaguely remember. I'm not going to need my control this phase. Has anyone made a modded system yet? Not that I've played, but I don't know. Oh, he got a crew back. Okay. Um, we actually want to mine. How did he get this crew back? I'm confused. I actually don't know how he got this crew back. Do they just get a free crew in phase two? And I've not, I'm sure I've crew killed in phase one before. Is that random? Do they randomly get a free crew? Might've been the dying animation when the ship exploded. Oh, I, I thought it said the AI took over, but that could be wrong. I said it there. Um, I think we kill him. Uh, no, let's do this. This, this. Come on. You guys go there. Go. Trying to not kill my crew. <laughs> they killed themselves, though. They killed the system too, too well. And we killed them so fast it didn't register. It might have been that. <laughs> Sometimes if the crew kill is close to when you kill the ship, it revives that crew. Oh, okay. Well, I was like, I was like sure. I was sure I saw the, uh, the AI is taking over animation thing, but I could just be wrong too. You liked how the Bork's door is still purple? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I can't open this door. That doesn't do anything. No. All right, now the issue is going to be they're going to actually mind control my mantis, and that's going to be kind of a pain, but we have the mind control counter, so it should be fine. All right, let's go wreck this crazy run. Yep, that's the door. That's the borked door. Yep, yep. Okay, we got it quick enough. We're good. There, yeah, let's get rid of the piloting first. I'm going to not fire, and I'm going to do level 3 clone bay, and hope that it lasts long enough for the overcharge. Probably won't, but it shouldn't matter. We have... Whoa! Oh, he almost... Whew! He actually almost killed him. <laughs> Amlo almost got wrecked. Two-thirds of his health went down in the time before I could do that. Before I could counter it. Whew, okay, lasted long enough. Good, we'll take it. Get rid of the mind control if we can. Okay, okay. Whew, all right, we got rid of the mind control. Freaking triple hit, man. If we weren't so OP, I'd probably be mad about that. Hey, you know what? Let's let the Mantids finish this off. I'll need to kill five more systems. It won't take too long. Mind control comes back. Oh, gets repaired, though. That'll be bad, because... Okay, good. They didn't mind control the Mantis. They could have killed one of my crew, maybe. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> 
Oh, this is so goofy. No, Goofy's a Disney character. Finish them. Finish them. Actually, let's do it here. It'll be faster. No! Uh, <laughs> they made Pie Boy. They made Pie Boy get wrecked. GG cookie time. Right at the end. Pie Boy mind control to get killed. <laughs> uh, the Mantis Brothers ship with Math Champs. Vulcan Mantis mod. What a run. Oh, man. Just had to get Pie Boy killed right at the end. Mutiny staged. <laughs> Pie boy, you have you have betrayed us for the last time. You're not a true mantis. You probably warned Kazakh to get away so we couldn't find him. Check the score. Over 6k, man. Pie boy, put shades back on. I'll be back. <laughs> oh man, third highest run on our mantis a ship with the crazy mantis brothers. This can also be one of my anti salt mods. That's right. Hey, 10 bucks from LEU. Thank you so much, my friend. You enjoy my streams? Well, I enjoy streaming for you. Especially when people do stuff like that. Thank you, my friend. Super generous of you. All right, we have time for one or two more ships. Probably one, because we'll probably get wrecked by RNG for the next, for the next ship. So. Um, so that was an interesting combination of mods from Math Champ and Pie Boy. Um, I have... Okay. I have a couple different ships I can play. I think, since I just did one of Pie Boy ships, I think I'm going to save your Cobra for next week, maybe, Pie Boy, because I have one from a YouTube viewer that I haven't played yet that looks pretty interesting called the Rochinante, which we played one called that before because I think that's from uh, some certain TV series, but he's got one that looked really cool. He actually posted on the uh, FTL subset forum, so we're going to play that one next from somebody named Thomas from YouTube, so we're going to... Run a quick six with Vaz when I come back. We'll play another ship. So you're rocking a bit, my friends.